Welcome to the 2010 version of Microsoft Word tutorial. So I've gone ahead and opened up a Word document and this is how a Word document will look now. And This is pretty much the look and feel of all Microsoft Office product documents, whether it be a PowerPoint or a Publisher or an Excel. They now have what's called a ribbon at the top. You'll notice that looks fairly familiar to a toolbar that we've used in the past and we still do have some sort of a file menu up top. But what Microsoft has changed is rather than clicking edit or insert or something like that and getting a drop down menu, you actually have individual tabs that bring up their own ribbon. So for example by default when I open Microsoft Word I'm on the home tab and I get the tools that would most likely be used while constructing a document. I can switch over here and try a different tab. So for example, I want to insert something. So I'm going to click on the insert tab and I get the tools that would correspond with me working with inserting any type of various object into my document. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my home tab. Now in the ribbons, we'll notice these vertical lines kind of separating different areas of the ribbon. And what that has done is what Microsoft calls groups. And a Microsoft group is basically stuff that has a similar type design and similar type effects on my document. So for example, my font, these are all the things that I can do and change to manipulate my font. And my paragraph group, these are the different buttons I can use to manipulate my paragraph. Or we might remember as in formatting from the previous office. Inside each group, just like in previous versions, toolbars are the individual commands. And really none of the look of a command has changed. So if we're familiar with the left justify, it still looks like the left justify command. Now I will notice that some of these groups have a little like, down facing arrow in the lower right hand corner. What this is, is called the dialog box launcher and it'll bring up the dialog box that corresponds with that group. So for example, if I click the arrow for my font and my font dialog box comes up, I have a little bit more control of what I do to the font as well as I get a preview of what I'm doing. This was the same type of menu I could have pulled up in the previous versions of Microsoft Word. I'm going to go ahead and close this. One of the biggest questions that comes up with the 2007 and the 2010 version of Word is what happened to all my print and save buttons. Well, similar to how they were in the past, if I go to File, I get a whole window of options that would be similar to what the old file menu used to be. So I have Save, I have my recent documents, and I have Print. And those are the same features that I would have seen if I'd gone to the file menu previously. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and click on print and it switches over to my print window where I have the exact same settings that I would have had in the earlier versions. So basically the only difference is now that I click on file, I get a whole window here versus just a drop down menu. One nice thing that they've added is what's called the quick access toolbar. So for tools that I use very commonly, so maybe saving, printing, a uh, new document, anything like that, I can add in a quick access toolbar. And that is actually located right above this file and home area. It's these buttons right here. I can add objects or commands to this menu. So right now I just have a new document, saving, and undo and redo, which are very helpful tools. But let's say for example I want to add the print feature as well. This little drop down arrow to the right of all the commands, if I click on that, I get a list of quick options that I can add, as well as you notice down at the bottom, I can add more commands that aren't in this list. So let's go ahead and say I want to do the print preview and print. I just click on that. And now my print preview and print button has been added to my quick access toolbar. Now one of the biggest things to realize about the new version is the documents that it saves. Currently on your 2003 version of Microsoft Word and all Office products, there is a three character 
extension to all documents. So for Microsoft Word, you're probably familiar with the dot .doc that is at the end of any Word document. In the 2007 and 2010 version, Microsoft added a fourth character to all the endings, and it is the character of X. So if we go into our file menu here, and once we're in our file menu, we're going to go ahead and click Save. And then this menu here comes up where we're able to save our document. The thing to know is that 2007 and 2010, the two versions that have the X at the end of their extension, can open the previous types of documents, the ones without an X, but the other way around is not true. So if I have users that I know might be using an older version of Word, such as the 2003 version, I want to come in here and save it as the older type. To do that, right under my file name, it says save type as. Currently it's a Word document, but I can come down here and I can choose the 97 to 2003 document, which will save it as the same old DOC that we're used to. So just something to be cautious of, is to make sure that people are able to open our documents. And I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And that sums up the major differences in the 2003 to 2010 transition for Microsoft Word. If you do have other questions, please look at the other links located on this webpage, as well as other links on this site for more information.